Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Devisar Illustrations and today we will be designing a new Paradox Pokemon, specifically one for Rotom. Rotom is an interesting choice. You see, this Paradox is going to be a past version, and as you all know, Rotom is a very technologically based Pokemon. So how will this work you ask? Well, let's take a look. Rotom is a Pokemon that possesses motors of electrical appliances, such as an oven, fridge or even a phone in the more recent games. Because of this I thought that if I designed Paradox Rotom, it would have to be different to all other Paradox Pokemon, and be able to change form depending on the object it possesses. When designing the base form, I decided to change the plasma on Rotom's body for tar, as if it were some kind of Pokemon that died by falling in a tar pit and now its spirit possesses objects to mess with humans. Its main body would now be made out of rock instead of whatever the orange part of its body was supposed to be made of. Meet Gowlish Tar. Its typing would be Rock and Ghost. It seems to be an ancestor of an already known Pokemon, Rotom. It is believed that it was once a Pokemon that fell into a tar of pit, and when a human refused to help it get out, it came back as a spirit that would terrorize humanity for all of eternity. With the base form out of the way, I had to think of ideas for the other forms. So I asked myself, what kind of technology existed in prehistoric times? And then I thought of the wheel and how it's considered one of the most important inventions by humankind. With this idea, the rest came pretty quick. At first I had a few problems. For example, I didn't want to repeat any of the types, so that means none of the forms could be grass, fire, water, ice or flying. So that just left me with bug, normal, dark, fairy, ground, poison, steel, dragon and psychic. Normal felt a bit boring for what we are doing here, so I ruled that one out, and steel feels more like a type that a future paradox would have. So eventually I went with ground, dark, dragon, poison and fighting. So I think it's pretty obvious what type would be the wheel Rotom, right? Yes, that's right, a ground type, as it's constantly rolling on the floor it fits pretty well. So here we have it. Meet Rolling Rampage. Its typing would be rock and ground. In this form it seems to take joy in chasing humans and eventually running them over. A prank gone too far some would say. For the next forms I started thinking in stereotypical caveman items, and the most obvious one is the club that they always carry around to bonk you on the head. Meet Blunt Beast. Its typing would be rock and fighting. In this form it seems to take joy in leaving people unconscious by bashing their heads with its body and just leaving them there. Another common concept that we associate cavemen with is cave painting, so I obviously had to design one based on this. Meet Toxic Vandal. Its typing would be rock and poison. In this form it seems to take joy in painting the walls of the caves where humans used to live with some kind of poisonous mix. Because of this humans had to sleep outside in the cold for a few days until the toxic mist dissipated. With just two forms left things were getting a bit complicated, as I couldn't think of any ideas, but eventually I came up with the idea to use obsidian knives as one of the forms. A lot of people commented on my Instagram, which you can find a link in the description if you want to follow me, on how the knives looked like the Blades of Chaos from God of War. This is funny, because I never played it, but I must say, the resemblance is unquestionable. Meet Swirling Edge. Its typing would be rock and dark. In this form it seems to take joy in spinning like crazy with its blades and cutting everything in its path. Because of this, humans would sometimes try to capture it and leave it in enemy camps for it to finish them all off, avoiding a war between the two clans. And finally, just one more left. For this one I couldn't think of any man-made items from prehistoric times that could fit well. I tried doing a form that possessed a pelt, but I couldn't make it work, so in the end I decided to make one that possesses the egg of a hatched tyrant rum. Meet Shelled Carnage. Its typing would be Rock and Dragon. In this form it seems to take joy in eating all of the stock that humans have gathered for the winter, making it very hard for them to survive through the year. And with that we are done. There were quite a few designs in this video, I hope you liked them all. Be sure to let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments, and also, I would appreciate if you liked and shared the video to any friend that you think could be interested. I'm just starting the channel now, this being my first video, so any help is very much appreciated. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.